Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church Online Devotion. I'm glad that you're with me today. Continue my study in 2 Thessalonians. Today, I'm in chapter 2, verse 15, and this devotion is entitled, Stand Fast. Listen to the words of this verse, verse 15 of chapter 2. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which you were taught, whether by word or our epistle. An epistle is just a letter, and we have many Pauline epistles, letters that were written by him to the different churches and to people in the New Testament. The Greek literally here in this particular verse says, uh, where he says, or where the English is translated, to stand vast and hold the traditions, the Greek literally says to stand firm and hold fast, to stand firm and hold fast. So we could, um, we could translate this particular passage into, and to paraphrase it in this particular way. With your feet, secure, let me start over. With your feet securely planted upon what you were taught, grasp tightly with the aim of not being shaken or moved from the truths you have received, either from personal teaching or other communication. What are the traditions that Paul is speaking of here? Well, in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, Paul says to Timothy, You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ, and the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit those to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Those things that Paul had delivered are the traditions, those teachings, those truths, those things that um, we now believe are scripture, doctrinal things, um, life things. Paul says that he had taught Timothy in such a way that Timothy was supposed to take those things and then to help somebody else learn. The Bible tells us in uh, Matthew chapter 28, Jesus gave the Great Commission. Go, make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always. That all things, just as Paul says here, the things that Timothy had heard from him in the presence of many witnesses, are those traditions. Not rituals, like we think of traditions. Not Easter traditions or holiday traditions or some other type of thing like that, but specific teachings and truths of the gospel. Number one, we see that uh, one of those truths is that God has shown grace to mankind through Jesus Christ and the redemption he alone provides. In 2 Timothy chapter uh, 3, verse 16, the Bible says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is pro profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. And so that truth that all Scripture is inspired by God, spoken by God, and to be used um, by God and for the Christian person to glorify God. Paul's letters to the Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, provide hundreds of great truths which help the believer to be rooted in Christ and securely built upon him as the foundation of their life. Those are the things that Paul says to stand fast upon and to hold firm to. I hope that that is what you're doing in your life. Um, but if you don't have a church home, or if you're struggling in some particular way, we would love to help you here at Temple Baptist Church. We meet on Sundays at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 6 p.m., and on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. And we would invite you to come, and uh, we would love to help you grow in your relationship with God. 
I pray that you will join me next time, that you'll share this video with somebody else, that you'll like this so that others might click on it as well, and perhaps um, allow God to speak to them through the scripture. God bless you, and I'll see you then.